Hi, I'm Eric LeClaire, and I'm back with another awesome upgrade for your Jeep Wrangler. Today, we're focused on safety and visibility. I'm gonna be installing a complete kit from EchoMaster that has everything you need, from a rear view camera that mounts behind your spare tire, to a replacement rear view mirror that mounts on your windshield that has a built-in full screen 1080p HD display. Mounting a camera behind your spare tire gives you a clear, unobstructed view of what's going on behind you as you're driving down the road. So if you're towing a boat or a jet ski or off-roading, you can keep an eye on your buddies. Now, when you're reversing, you want a different angle that's steeper toward the ground, closer to your bumper. This kit has a reverse wire, so it automatically switches to the lower camera angle when you shift your Jeep to reverse. Now, the cherry on top of this Sunday is that this kit also has a DVR built into the mirror. That's right, it's recording two channels continuously, so you have a view out the front and out the rear. This is gonna capture anything that happens on-road and off-road, so all of your adventures are recorded, and the SD card can be removed and watched on a computer, or it can be played back directly on the mirror itself inside the vehicle. The installation is a four-wire connection to the vehicle, and the mirror bolts into the factory mirror location. So we rate this install a three out of four pry tools on our install difficulty scale. So come with me as I show you how to upgrade your Jeep Wrangler and install this full rear view camera and mirror combo with DVR. Before we get started, let's take a look at the tools we'll need on today's install. Crimpers, electrical tape, pry tool, razor knife, Allen wrenches, wire runner, zip ties, power drill, Phillips screwdriver, ratchet with extension, seven millimeter, eight millimeter, 10 millimeter sockets, heat gun, flush cuts, pick tool, T20 Torx, T25 Torx, T30 Torx, T40 Torx, 17 millimeter deep socket, and digital multimeter. To begin the installation, we're going to remove the camera from the universal mounting bracket. Using a small Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws. Remove the two screws that attach this mounting bracket to the back of the camera. Using the provided screws, Install the Jeep-specific bracket onto the back of the camera. Using the small, supplied lock washers and bolts, attach the camera to the mounting bracket. Using the lock washer and bolt, attach the mounting bracket to the camera. The camera mounting bracket can be attached directly to the spare tire mount, or for additional vehicle clearance, the additional extension can be installed. Using the supplied brackets, find the adjustment that works best for your vehicle configuration. Once you find the orientation that works best for your vehicle, lock the screws into position. Begin by removing the spare tire. We need to remove the spare tire so that we can mount the camera on the tire carrier. Route the wiring through the hole in the spare tire carrier. Mount the bracket onto the spare tire carrier. Then install the three push nuts. A pair of pliers or a socket can be used to push these on. This holds the bracket in place while the spare tire is not mounted. Using a nylon pry tool, carefully remove the grommet from the outside of the tailgate. Open the tailgate on the Jeep Wrangler. We need to remove the trim panel located near the top of the panel. Using a plastic pry tool, pry up on the bottom of the panel to remove it. Using a long zip tie or fishing wire, route through this hole to the outside of the tailgate. Using electrical tape, attach the camera lead to the fishing line. Carefully feed it through the tailgate and toward the inside of the tailgate. We want to run along the factory wiring, so we're going to disconnect the factory connectors. If you carefully use a pick tool or a knife, you can unlock the factory zip ties here so they can be reused later. Another option is to cut the zip tie and reuse new zip ties. There's tape at both ends of this loom that has to be cut and moved away so that you can pass your wire through along the factory wiring. Using a few zip ties, we're going to tie the camera wiring close to the factory wiring keep it neat and tidy, so it doesn't interfere with the spare tire. Cut a notch or a slot into the rubber grommet using snips or crimpers so that the wires can pass through the rubber grommet. Now reinstall the rubber grommet into the tailgate. Using a few zip ties, you can secure the wiring down to the factory mounting brackets so it's out of harm's way and won't get hit by the spare tire. Routing the wiring through the interior of the Jeep requires several panels be removed. Using a Torx driver, remove these two anchor bolts. This allows us to remove this interior plastic panel. Using a plastic pry tool, pry up on this plastic panel by the seat belt. Separate the two plastic housings and remove them from the vehicle. Before removing the large plastic panel, there's one 10 millimeter bolt that needs to be removed that's located behind it. Now this large plastic panel can be removed from the Jeep. Once you've cut the tape on the other end of this loom, now we're going to route the camera wiring through the loom along the factory wiring. Now we need to tap into the vehicle's reverse wire. 
This is what's going to shift the camera to the second viewing angle. Here behind the right tail light of the Jeep, we find a wiring harness. Inside this wiring harness, there's a white wire with a gray stripe. This is our reverse wire. Carefully strip the shielding on this wire and connect a multimeter. Set your multimeter for DC voltage. Insert the positive probe into the white wire with the gray stripe and verify that it shows vehicle voltage when you shift your Jeep into reverse. Again, using a pick tool or a razor knife, carefully disengage the zip ties or cut them away and reinstall new zip ties later. Then carefully cut the tape at the end of the wire loom so we can pass the wiring through the factory loom along the factory wires. Tape your camera lead to your long zip tie or fishing wire and route through the factory wiring loom. We're going to connect the camera extension. When connecting the camera extension, slide the heat shield tubing down over one of the camera ends. Carefully align the two arrows on both connectors and then insert the connector fully until it clicks into place. Slide the heat shrink tubing over the connection point and use a heat gun to heat this connection. This will add a little extra durability to ensure its long life in your Wrangler. Connect the red reverse trigger wire from the camera harness to your Jeep Wrangler's reverse trigger. Solder this connection or cover it with electrical tape and use a zip tie to ensure it stays connected properly. Run the wiring along the factory wiring behind the carpet. Using a nylon pry tool, remove the plastic tree fasteners. This allows us to remove the interior trim panels so we can easily route the wiring through the Jeep. Three of these need to be removed from this panel, then it can be popped away from the body of the Jeep. There's another fastener here in this front panel and then it can be removed. Pull away from the panel of the Jeep and remove. This gives easy access to the factory wiring. Just to keep your install as clean as possible and avoid any snags, run the wiring by the factory wiring as close as possible and use zip ties along the way to secure it. Route down underneath the seat belt, up by the passenger seat, up to the kick panel, and then we're going to route up through the dash. Using a nylon pry tool, carefully remove this plastic trim panel on the right side of the dash. Open the glove box, squeeze the two levers and remove the glove box completely. This gives us easy access to route the camera wiring through the dash. Again, using zip ties to secure to the wiring inside the dash, keeps it up and out of the way. Now remove your Jeep's radio to get access to the three connection wires, constant power, accessory, and ground. Fuse taps are included with this kit for the constant power and accessory wire. If you'd like to make your connection without cutting and splicing, extend these wires, route through the firewall, and make a plug and play connection inside the factory fuse box. In this particular Jeep, we have an aftermarket radio installed, so we're okay with using the red, yellow, and black wires on the aftermarket radio harness. Since we're making direct connections, we're gonna cut these connectors off, strip the wiring on our aftermarket radio harness, and connect them directly. Again, be sure to solder your connections or cover with electrical tape and use zip ties to ensure they're quality connections. Yellow wire gets connected for constant power, red wire gets connected for accessory, and black wire gets connected for ground. Because this kit has a parking mode, which allows it to record while the vehicle's parked, it's important to have constant power and accessory power connected as well as ground. Your GPS antenna can be mounted in one of many places. It just needs to have a clear line of sight with no metal above it. While we have the dash off, we have a good mounting position here inside the dash near the windshield where there's no metal obstructions. If you have an accessory mounting bar on your dash, you may need to mount your GPS antenna up on your roll cage. Route the GPS wiring back through the dash into the radio opening, then connect the 3.5 millimeter connector into the connector on the harness. Using a Torx driver, carefully remove the passenger side sun visor. Unclip it and remove it from the vehicle. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the plastic fastener that secures this plastic piece into the roll cage. Once this is removed, you can pull this piece of plastic down to remove it from the Jeep. Tilt the factory mirror up and disconnect the factory wiring harness. Using a Torx driver, unscrew the mirror and then slide it up off the windshield to remove it. Now, using a Phillips screwdriver, secure the mirror monitor to the windshield. Route the camera extension harness up toward the windshield underneath the factory weather stripping and make the connection to the mirror monitor. Connect the mirror harness to the wiring, ensure the arrows align, then push the connectors together until they snap into place. 
tuck the mirror wiring up behind the factory plastic trim panel. Carefully route the wiring around the factory connectors, then reinstall the plastic panels. There's a plastic tree connector that has to go up into the roll cage. Once it's in position, reinstall the plastic fastener and the sun visor. For Wrangler JL, using a pry tool, carefully remove the speaker grill on top of the dash. Now pry down these two plastic panels, which give access to the two 10mm bolts which need to be removed. Using a ratchet with extension, remove the two 10mm bolts. Now you can remove the grab handle. Using a T15 Torx, remove the two screws securing the sun visor to the Jeep. Carefully lower the sun visor and set it on the dash so that the weight is supported by the dash. Now carefully pry the trim panel at the top of the windshield toward the back of the Jeep. You may find it easier to remove the passenger sun visor as well. Removing the passenger sun visor gives you additional clearance so that you can lower the plastic panel at the top of the windshield. Carefully pull the panel toward the back of the Jeep, releasing all the clips. Using a Torx driver, carefully remove the three screws that secure the mirror to the top of the Jeep. Pay close attention to the orientation and the order when reassembling the mirror plastics and brackets. Take the included bracket and pass it through the factory Jeep plastic with all four clips facing up. Now attach this bracket to the bracket on the back of the mirror using the supplied screw. Use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten this screw. Now carefully route the wiring up through the bracket so it stays nice and close to the mirror bracket. Run the wiring up the A-pillar, staying as close to the factory wiring as possible, using zip ties to secure along the way. This will avoid the cables being pinched when reassembling the vehicle. Now using the Torx driver, carefully reinstall the three mounting screws that mount the mirror to the Jeep. Repositioning the mirror during this process may make it easier to reach certain bolts. Reconnect the power harness for the mirror. Carefully reinstall the plastic trim panel. You might find it easier if you flex the panel a bit to get the end into position. Be sure that all the metal clips align with their respective holes in the Jeep frame. Snap the panel into position by pushing up and forward toward the front of the Jeep. Carefully reinstall the sun visors and the two torque screws on each visor. Reinstall the grab handle and using your socket, reinstall the two 10 millimeter bolts. And now we can reinstall the speaker cover. Now for a quick function check. Let's turn the Jeep on and make sure the mirror turns on. Great. Now shift your Jeep into reverse to check for the second camera angle. Now we're ready to reassemble our Jeep and complete our installation. Reinstall the radio. Reinstall the plastic trim panels. Reinstall the glove box. Reinstall all the plastic interior trim panels to their original positions and ensure that you reinstall any hardware that was removed during an uninstallation. We're going to use some electrical tape to close up the factory wiring loom and then carefully re-engaging the zip ties we disconnected earlier. If you remove the factory connectors, simply use new zip ties that mount into the tailgate. Reinstall the spare tire, getting help from a friend if you need. Remember, safety is key. This particular wheel allows for a top dead center mounting of our camera, but if it didn't, we would position the camera as needed and then rotate the bracket to ensure that it's perfectly vertical. Well, that completes the install. We've now upgraded our Wrangler, taken away that factory mirror and installed a new mirror with an HD monitor. It has front and rear cameras and a built-in DVR. Be sure to check out our feature video so you can see this product in action. We hope you've enjoyed this install video. Thanks for watching.